Thank you for joining us for the International Hawk Migration Week. This is Sundance. Sundance is a Swainson's hawk. Swainson's hawk are known as the great migrators. Sundance came to us in 2012 as a nestling. He was found out of his nest on the ground and a good Samaritan came by to care for him. Although during his caregiving, he imprinted on that caregiver and therefore is non-releasable. So interesting facts about Swainson's hawk, being the great migrator, these birds live in the western United States and western Canada in the spring and the summer, and are oftentimes carnivores at that time. So they are eating rodents and reptiles and sometimes insects at the time. When these guys migrate, they migrate south to South America and Argentina. They follow the land, they do not fly over water. This migration is about 6,000 miles, so it's quite a long distance. That equates to us in a couple different ways. One, if we were to walk from California to New York and New York back to California, that would equate to about 6,000 miles. Or if you're ambitious and you want to walk the track oval, you would have to walk 24,000 times around the track to equal 6,000 miles. So these birds are quite amazing in their migration. When they migrate down to South America, they become insectivores, which essentially means they go from eating all of carnivorous type of food into eating mostly insects. What's interesting about that is they are actually known as friends of farmers because when they migrate south, they oftentimes are feeding off of the farmland. This of course helps the insect control for farmers and allows them to have their meals um, and feasts. So another interesting fact of Swainson's hawk, if you're a birder and you're doing a lot of observation, is when these hawks are flying, they do have a different coloring than that of a red-tailed hawk. Red-tailed hawks are very predominant all throughout North America. Swainson's hawks, like we discussed, are more on the western United States and western Canada. So oftentimes in Arizona, we do not have an, an opportunity to observe these hawks very often. When we do, one way of telling the difference between a Swainson's hawk and a red-tailed hawk is their underbelly coloring. So Swainson's hawks are quite bright and white in their underbelly and kind of the tips of their wings. Their flight feathers are quite dark. So when you're observing them from uh, below, they are very distinctive in coloring compared to a red tail hawk. Red tail hawks are much more all white in coloring underneath. When these guys eventually return to Arizona, oftentimes you will be able to observe them in the farm fields. Like we talked about before, they are carnivorous during the spring and summer, but they do feast on insects as well. In closing, one final fact about Swainson's hawks is they are only one of two North American raptors that has a long migration. So it's quite impressive, as we said before, that these hawks migrate up to 6,000 miles in a two-month period. So thank you for joining us for International Hawk Week. Thank you for joining Sundance and I.